Hello everyone, it's your boy G, the number one Cowboy fan. I have to coming at you live, direct, and correct. And let me tell you, this draft for the 2020 season, I must say, it was one of the best drafts I've seen in a while. From, from the start to the finish, from the top to the bottom, we actually did a great draft. Personally, I think so. And the reason I say that is because all these players that we picked today, all these players were projected to be drafted in earlier rounds. But for whatever reason, all these players fell into our lap, basically. All the pieces fell together in the, in the puzzle. So I'm excited for what we've done in, uh, over the last three days. Um, I can truly say that... Um, Mike McCarthy, Mike Nolan, and, and 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 Jerry Jones and all these guys, I really think they came together. And a lot of these players, they probably had a plan, but a lot of these players was it was expected to go in higher rounds, so they had no choice but to get these players. You know, starting with C.D. Lamb. You know, I, I saw at the ninth pick when I saw that there were still two receivers on the board with um, Jerry Judy. And C.D. Lamb still sitting there. I said, you know what? We might have a chance at this. And sure enough, C.D. Lamb fell in our lap. And from that point on, it just continued to trickle down. And we continued to get great draft picks. So we talked about the three on yesterday. So let's talk about the other four that we uh, picked up today, rounds four through seven. And starting with the 123rd pick, we picked up Reggie Robinson the second. Uh, this kid is from Tulsa University. Uh, he's 6'1", 205 pounds. Sounds familiar. Same size and height as Trayvon Diggs. So now we know Mike Nolan is looking for tall, rangy cornerbacks, which I think that's a plus because when you have a cornerback basically the same size as your receiver, it's a great matchup. And both of these kids, like I said, when I saw on Reggie, Reggie Robinson, wasn't much film, but I had to go back and do some research. But what I what I did witness is this kid is a playmaker. He's a playmaker. Uh, he, a lot of Trayvon Digg uh, similarities. Um, I saw where he's always in the right place at the right time, breaking up passes, going for the interceptions, and will tackle. So, at the 123rd pick, we picked up Reggie Robinson, which I think was a great pick. So on to the 146th pick, we picked up Ty Tyler Baldez. I think that's how you pronounce it. Baldez. I heard people. Come, I heard some different names. I'm like, okay, that can't be it. So I'm gonna go with Tyler Baldez. Okay, so. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. He's an offensive lineman, but let me tell you, he's out of Wisconsin. He's 6'4", 314 pounds. The good thing about this kid, he plays guard or center. Now, I had told you guys, I know nothing, even though I said pick a center in the first round. But with everything taking place like it did, this kid out of Wisconsin fell in our lap once again. But let me tell you this about Tyler. We have to make a trade. We had to make a trade with Philadelphia. We, we traded our fifth round pick this year and our fifth round pick next year to move up to get this kid. So we made a, a strategic move, which I thought was a great move. This kid is, he's, uh, oh my gosh, he holds his block. He, he drives his block out of the pocket. Um, nothing bad I can say about him, but he's, he's definitely a beast. And uh, I, I think this was another great pickup. Basically, what I, after hearing some of the reports, some are saying that he could probably come in and start. Who knows? But at 146, everybody said it's a steal. And what I've seen, I think it's a steal as well. So this is a kid that comes out of Wisconsin, weighing 314 pounds, plays center, but also can play both sides of the guard. So thumbs up to the uh, scouting crew and all the recruiting crew and all of them, what they've done. Great pick. Moving on to the 179th pick. Tell you about this kid here. Bradley Anai out of Utah. He is 6'3, 257 pounds. He plays defensive end. When I say this kid is a punisher, <laughs> this kid, 
you know, it kind of reminds me of the old school football. This kid, when he makes his tackles, he takes you and he slams you on the ground. Vicious, ferocious, and he's out to get you. This kid comes off the edge, and if he get his hands on you, he's going to make you pay. There's no softness to this kid. Once again, great pick. Bradley Anai, defensive end, 257 pounds out of Utah, standing at 6'3". So, once again, where there's more competition. Not sure if he's going to come in. I'm sure he can come in and get, get a few reps in. <laughs> Personally, the ones I've already spoken about, I, I really think they could come in and contribute. I really do think they can come in and contribute. And with our last pick, we picked up uh, Ben DiNucci. He started out at Pitt University, and he transferred to uh, James Madison University. Uh, he stands at 6'3". He's a quarterback. So we got another quarterback. And one thing about Mike McCarthy, Mike McCarthy loves to develop quarterbacks. So evidently, it's something that Mike McCarthy saw in his kid. So basically, he's going to have to do the same thing like Dak did. He's going to he's gonna have to fight. But this kid is good. He can beat you with his arm, and he can beat you with his legs. Uh, when he was at James Madison, I mean, he was uh, he won some big games, and he's a game finisher. So then uh, Danucci saw his uh, video, and he's accurate. He's a very accurate passer. Uh, they run. He did a lot of run read options as well. So something that Dak does. So hey, he might just fit in this thing. But Ben uh, Danucci, he's definitely got to come in and fight. Base because it's a loaded, it's a loaded uh, quarterback, uh, 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 loaded quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Well, we get we're loaded at quarterback. Let me say it like that. Oh man, y'all gotta understand, man. There's no political correct uh, channel, man. We just talk straight football talk. So y'all gotta forgive me. So don't don't go in there and say, "Come on, Gary, get it right." But y'all know what I'm saying. We we're loaded at quarterback. So now we add this kid in there too. So hey, more competition, more competition. That's all I can say. So, uh, but like I said, I think all these players were steals. All these players were steals, and all of them fell into our lap, and we was able to to. Uh, bring these guys in and like i said i, I really think these guys will be able to come in and contribute here uh this year as far as competition so that's where we are and somebody's at my door so i'm not gonna hold y'all up like i always say don't nothing come to a sleep but a dream so let's make it happen dallas cowboys and also i'll be coming back and i'll be showing some highlights on each one of these players so y'all just stay tuned deuces <laughs>